what thoughts come into your mind when you look at this painting? The scene is very simple, although a bit bizarre. Two young boys are carrying an angel somewhere. But this scene leaves us, the viewers, with so many questions. For example, what's with the expression of the boys? Why is there an angel and more importantly, how did she end up in this situation where she's wounded and blinded? What do you think is the true meaning of this painting? Do you think it shows some deeper metaphorical meaning or is it just a painting that is depicting just a simple scene, something created by the imagination of the painter? In this episode of Art Psych, we'll find the meaning behind the painting, The Wounded Angel, by the Finnish painter Hugo Simberg. And you might be shocked to know that there are three meanings of this painting. And you'll definitely be shocked to know that all these three meanings are equally true. So let's get started with the video. The very first thing that you notice is the bizarreness of the scene. Like what exactly is going on here? The painter has added realistic elements to a painting that belongs in the symbolism genre. Remove the two boys and the painting becomes an excellent example of symbolism art. Now do the opposite. Remove the angel and the painting becomes a very grounded, realistic painting showing these two poor boys in their sad state of affairs. So after a good look at the painting, what do you think this painting means? No matter what you think about the meaning of this painting, you'll always be correct. Why? Because the artist never gave this painting a meaning. Well, that doesn't mean that the painting has no meaning. He wanted to keep his artwork open to interpretation and that's one of the reasons why it became the most famous painting by Hugo Simberg. And not just that, it is also the most famous and popular Finnish painting. But is it really a blank canvas in terms of meaning? If not the same, there must be some similarities in the different interpretations of this painting. Like for example, I think we all can agree that the wounded angel does not show a happy or cheerful scene, right? Another thing that we all can agree upon is that the angel in the middle holds some significance. She is placed in the middle of the canvas and she catches your attention right away. And with the process of reduction, I have distilled three different but similar meanings of this painting. And I want you to comment down below which of these three meanings seemed the most plausible one. The first meaning of this painting is the artist's personal projection. Hugo Simberg was suffering from meningitis at the time of painting the wounded angel. But he also suffered from syphilis. And I think this acquaintance with diseases, these morbid diseases, led to the artist expressing his grimmer side and emotions. And not just this painting, but every painting made by the artist shows something grim, intense or macabre. And the paintings that might be called normal have something off about them, something that pushes them towards the grim side. This is not the first painting where Simberg has added something supernatural. His second most famous painting, Garden of Death, shows a very bizarre scene that would confuse people more than this painting does. And that is not all. You have Dancing with Death, where Death, shown as the Grim Reaper, dances with a girl, quite macabre. Then you have the untitled painting, where you can see a man, most probably the artist, being persuaded by both the devil and the angel. Another untitled painting shows a man dancing with an angel while other woman sits gloomily. And I can go on and on and on. So the artist did project his emotions through the addition of these supernatural motives. So the first meaning of the painting should be the artist trying to heal himself while his children are helping him do that. The angel represents the artist's soul while well, it's been carried by his children. Or perhaps it's just a symbol of hope, a hope of getting better and living a healthy life. Now the second meaning is quite interesting and I think it's the most accurate one. Simberg made this painting while the Russification of Finland was going on. For those who don't know, it is exactly what the name sounds like. Russia was making Finland more like mm, Russia. How? It was done by getting rid of the culture of Finland as much as possible, removing the autonomy of the Grand Duchy of Finland. It was metaphorically crushing the Finnish soul and replacing it with the spirit of Russia. And the people of Finland did not like that. Understandably, they protested. And perhaps this painting was also a type of protest by the artist. You see two Finnish boys carrying this angel who has been injured. She has also been blinded. And if you look closely and maybe form some distant connection, you can almost say that this angel looks very similar to the Finnish maiden. So the artist was trying to show the injured state of the maiden due to the destructive policies of Russia. But notice that the angel is holding a snowdrop. That's a sign of healing. The Finnish maiden was injured, but she was not gone. 
Now the third meaning gives a more realistic take to this painting. We know the exact place that has been depicted in this painting. It's the, forgive me if I mispronounce it, Tulan Lati Bay in Helsinki. We also know that at the time of making this painting, there was a school for blind and disabled children nearby. So perhaps one day the artist saw a blind girl being taken to the school and got the idea to paint this painting. But that can't be all the meaning, right? Look at how the boy is looking at the viewers as if asking something. He seems to be saying that, look at our condition, don't you feel like you want to do something about it? Maybe it was just a painting to evoke a feeling of sadness in our hearts. The way the boy is looking at the viewers gives the painting so much power. It's the reason why it captures the attention and takes you inside the painting. The Wounded Angel pushed the artist to real success and fame. This painting was loved both by viewers and critics. Delighted by the success of the painting, he wrote this letter to his sister saying, I wanted to share the good news with you. I was not rejected this year. Even though the jury was terribly strict, it seems that I have achieved something of a grand success among my colleagues and the members of the jury. Gallen, his former teacher, is so excited that I can hardly take him seriously. His first words were the highest flattery of my work and, oddly, he seems quite beside himself with enthusiasm for the big painting. He says that it gives him the impression that I had stood alone in a little cabin, huddled in the midst of a great forest, and had painted in complete indifference to the outside world. He says that it radiates peace and harmony like no other work in the exhibition. Even Edelfeld said nice things to me. The painting was very successful, even today. The Wounded Angel is considered to be Finland's national painting. The band Nightwish made a music video for the song Amaranth, which is inspired by this painting. I do suggest you give it a watch. Even the very famous Ghibli studio made a music video on your mark, which is inspired by this painting. With so many paintings made by him that feature complex imagery and symbolism, I find this particular painting to be very interesting. Simberg is confused which side to take, should he go left with the angel or right with the devil? And in the end, it's funny that the two most famous paintings he ever did, this one and the Garden of Death, feature an angel and a demon. Now, if you have your own interpretation of this painting, I'd love to hear it. So let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe if you like the video. Thank you and have a nice day.